Professor got me. Thank you, Natalie. Oh, Clive, come in. So, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, Dr. Kamnik, I believe the results of the physics midterm were unjust. Uh huh. How so? I received an unsatisfactory grade. In fact, F, the failing grade. Uh, yes. You failed the midterm. That's accurate. Yes, but that is not just. I was unaware to be examined on the mathematics. Well, you can't do physics without mathematics, really, can you? Before I receive the failing grade, I lose my scholarship, and I feel shame. I understand the physics. I understand the dead cat. But you, you can't really understand the physics without understanding the math. The math tells how it really works. That's the, the real thing. The stories I give you in class are just illustrative. They're like fables, say, to help give you a picture. I mean, even I don't understand the dead cat. The math is how it really works. Very difficult. Very difficult. Well, I, I'm sorry, but I, uh, what do you propose? Passing grade. No, no. Or perhaps I can take the midterm again. I know now it covered the mathematics. Well, the other students wouldn't like that, would they? If one student gets to retake the test till he gets a grade he likes. Secret test. No. I, uh, hush, hush. No, that's just not workable. I'm afraid we'll just have to bite the bullet on this thing, Clive. And Very troubling. Very troubling. Hello, Cy. Larry Gopnik. Larry, how are you, my friend? Uh, good. How you been, Cy? Oh, fine. Can we talk, Larry? What? You, uh... Hello? I, uh, Larry? call back. Clive? Cy Abelman. He said he got disconnected. Messages, Professor Gopnik. Yes, thanks for coming. Clive, have a seat. We had, I think, a good talk the other day. But you left something. I didn't leave it. Well, you don't even know what I was going to say. I didn't leave anything. I'm not missing anything. I know where everything is. Well, then, Clive, where did this come from? This is here, isn't it? Yes, sir. That is there. This is not nothing. This is something. Yes, that is something. What is it? You know what it is, I believe. And you know I can't keep it, Clive. Yes, sir. I'll have to pass it on to Professor Finkel, along with my suspicions about where it came from. Actions have consequences. Yes, sir. Often. No, always. Actions always have consequences. In this office, actions have consequences. Yes, sir. Not just physics. Morally. Yes. And we both know about your actions. No, sir. I know about my actions. I can interpret, Clive. I know what you meant me to understand. Yes, sir, my sir. Mir, sir, my sir? Mir, sir, my sir, sir. Very uncertain. Could you crash? Could you crash? With all respect, Mr. Park, I don't think it's that. Yes. No, it would be a culture clash if it were the custom in your land to bribe people for grades. Yes. So, you're saying it is the custom? No, this is a defamation. Ground for lawsuit. Let me get this straight. You're threatening to sue me for defaming your son? Yes. But it would... This man bothering you? Is he bothering me? No. I, uh... See, 
Look, if it were defamation, there would have to be someone I was defaming him too. Or I... All right, I... Let's keep it simple. I could pretend the money never appeared. That's not defaming anyone. Yes. And, uh, passing grade. Passing grade? Yes. Or you'll sue me for taking money. So he did leave the money. This is defamation. It doesn't make sense. Either he left the money or he didn't. Please, accept the mystery. There's a tornado warning from the weather service. Mr. Turchik has decided to move us into the basement of the synagogue. Shahed, Shahed, we will form two lines. 